Hi there, Kevin Greenway here from Tenzig. I'm just going to give you a demonstration of configuring the Tenzig Zero client towards a Citrix environment. So specifically this demonstration will show you the very simple steps required and uh, in this demonstration we'll be connecting towards a Citrix storefront. But this same uh, process applies if you're connecting to Citrix Cloud for example um, and connecting via uh, Citrix Workspace app. So the first step of the demo, uh, we've basically taken the, the Zero client out of the box, we've plugged it in, uh, we've booted it, and it's uh, sat waiting for input to set up uh, really three simple steps. Now, in addition, if we did have the Tenzig Manager installed and running on the network, uh, this would have detected and registered the Tenzig Citrix Zero client, would have pushed out the uh, default configuration, uh, and then made it available ready for any uh, user to log in to Citrix. Um, we haven't got the Tenzig Manager in this particular case, so we're just going to demonstrate a, a simple local setup. So as mentioned, the first step of the process is to specify the country, and by doing so, this sets the uh, keyboard language and also the country-dependent US in this case, uh, also permits us to set uh, the specific time zone, so Phoenix in this case. We're then required to um, input the uh, current time and date. So I'll change that, the current date is correct. And the third and final step is to insert the Citrix uh, storefront server address, which again could be storefront, it could be a Citrix Netscaler, um, as well as Citrix Cloud. Now there are different uh, connection types. Um, if you are interested in learning about any of the other connection types available for Citrix, then uh, refer to our uh, deep dive video, which again is available uh, on the Tenzig channel on uh, youtube.com. So for now, I'm just gonna input our Citrix uh, storefront address. And once I click on OK, that uh, is the configuration complete. Now, just before I do that, let's just uh, quickly touch on the URL. So, uh, dependent on what certificate is assigned to either your storefront server, your Netscaler, or indeed Citrix Cloud, uh, the Tenzig firmware does have a bunch of commercial root certificates baked into the firmware, um, as is the case with the demonstration that we're going to run here. But if you have uh, installed your own, for example, Active Directory signed certificate, then the root certificate would also need to be imported onto the Tenzig client or uh, an exception created um, in addition or as an alternative. So again, uh, if you are required to do those steps, refer again to the, uh, the deep dive video, which covers that part. So let's click on OK. And again, that completes the setup and then launches the, uh, the, the browser to connect us into uh, Citrix Storefront in this case. Now, before I log in and demonstrate an end-to-end -end connection, let's just quickly recap on the settings. So if we go into the control panel, let's first of all go into keyboard. You can, set that, you can see that that's uh, preset to English US. If we go to time and date and the time zone setting, you can see that uh, the time zone has been set towards Phoenix and the clock was set uh, as per the third step. And then in the Citrix uh, settings, again, that gives us a recap of the URL that was entered as well as all of the other available Citrix options, which again are covered in the deep dive video. So that concludes the setup. Let's just uh, test connection uh, by logging in.
and then let's go ahead and uh, connect to any one of our preferred desktops. Now the speed uh, to obviously connect to the Citrix environment is dependent on obviously the normal factors like latency and storage etc. So bear in mind that I'm connecting uh, from a UK uh, location currently towards a desktop that's hosted in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. But uh, as you can see, that concludes the login process and also the demonstration. So again, thank you for your time and uh, please feel free to refer to those other videos mentioned. Thank you very much.